Yo, Ace here, and have I got a treat for you. When I say I've got a treat for you, it's actually a treat for me, and I just want to show off a pinch. Yes, you've seen what I'm talking about. The Minolta 7000. The Big Daddy, the Big Daddy-O, the OG autofocus. I bought it for 100 bucks with a 50mm, a zoom, and a flash. Old mate included some Panasonic VHS video recorder, which I quickly sold for 60 bucks. So if my maths is right, I got this bad boy for about the same price as a roll of Portra. So the flash doesn't work, and the zoom lens looks like an eye with a burst retina. But the 50mm, oh, oh, this 50mm, oh, it's a banger, it's a stonker. Now I know what you're thinking. Ace, you usually throw a roll of black and white in the camera the first time you use it. And yes, you're 100% right, but some rules, like pledging to stop at second base on a first date, just need to be broken. And break the rules I did. I slapped some Ultramax 400, the greatest and bestest film stock there ever was. Fun fact, you can get three rolls of 50 for 50 at Woolworths, but if you go through the self-serve checkout, it costs the same as a brown onion. True story. So armed with a very cost-effective film and this beautiful little camera, I headed out to capture some stunning Brisbane winter colours. When I take photos around my suburb, it's usually at night with a big telephoto lens. But this time I decided to break another rule. The sun was out and I knew there was plenty of stunning winter blooms just bursting with colour that needed to be captured. I had this splendid morning. This splendid morning I snap, snap, snapped away like a creepy uncle at a pool party. Banging out the roll in the morning around the burbs, I took that sucker and got it developed ASAP. After that roll of Ultramax, I put an expired roll of FP4 Plus in it, the expiry date unknown. It was super easy to tinker with the ISO, and I'll put the photos on the end of this video. First thoughts, I love this camera. To be honest, I've had the Minolta 7000 before, but I sold it before I could ever really get acquainted for it with it. Now though, this beautiful machine is back where it belongs. It would be a lie to say I pushed the autofocus hard, but, I really, but it really nailed focus on a range of subjects, buildings, mirror selfies, animals, plants blowing in the breeze. The camera itself won't take the shot unless it's locked onto something, and it usually locked onto the right, right thing. I took some closest shots, which, would give, which gave a bit of depth of field, and I was pretty happy with how it performed. This camera is definitely a keeper, assuming the electronics and the mechanics don't bug out on me. Well folks, the Minolta 7000. If you're going to break the rules, break the rules with this beauty. Love God, love others, take time to listen. Music